I got this. So who here has a relative with cancer? Oh, my, oh okay. Who, who knows somebody with diabetes? Lung disease? Okay. What about dementia? Well, you're not going to believe this, but all these things have something in common. And today, we're going to talk about those things. You see, growing up, I would always ask my cooler older cousins and my father, how should I act when I'm out for women? You know, the typical, what are the do's and don'ts? Of course, they gave me the usual advice of how to dress, walk, and talk in different situations. But I never realized how important great oral health was until a friend of mine was told that he had bad smelling breath by a girl he liked in school. Back when I was a junior in high school, a close friend of mine really liked this girl. When he approached her, however, she loudly told him how she was definitely not interested in him and how bad his breath smelled. <laughs> Honestly, at the time, it was very hilarious. But you know, later, I felt bad for him. Since then, not only have I realized that your breath is a great indicator for specific diseases, but it's also important for dating women. Now, these are, there are key diseases you need to be aware of. The first one is cancer. Second is diabetes. Third can be lung disease. Fourth, memory loss or dementia. Arthritis, and one we're all familiar with, allergies. All smells, whether fishy, fruity, cheesy, acidic, or musty, can identify specific diseases. For example, a fruity smell can be uh, associated with uncontrolled diabetes. A fishy smell or ammonia smell can be uh, associated with kidney disease. Asthma or cystic fibrosis is associated with an acidic smell. And fecal odor smells are associated with a foul, rotten odor smell. Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys and list out the specific diseases and the smells that correlate to them. First is cancer. Now, for cancer, smoking and chewing tobacco are the leading causes of it. Now, kidney, pancreatic, and oral cancers lead to or have a direct link to gum disease. In addition to that, during radiation treatment, it releases a sulfuric gas that smells like rotten eggs. Also, by signaling these early stages of cancer, bad breath is a great indicator for these diseases. Second is diabetes. Now, for diabetes, it's important to recognize that one in 10 people, nearly 30% of the U.S. population, is affected with diabetes. Nearly 25% of diabetics have gingivitis or chronic periodontitis, when one in five have oral infections or cavities. This is, a crucial, this is very relative to what's going on today. Third is lung disease. Now, lung disease can be associated with lung breath, a foul, rotten odor smell that can signal lung cancer. We have memory loss or dementia. Older people are at extremely high risk of, of developing this particular disease, as we all know. As you age, your nervous system breaks down and makes it harder for you to do the things you usually are able to do, especially in your mouth. The, the muscles in your mouth begin to degenerate with age. Fifth, we have kidney disease. Now, for kidney disease, it's important to recognize that patients with chronic kidney failure have extremely high risk of um, things not only degenerating, but it affects your saliva, it affects your gums, and it also affects your, um, your mobility. Also, kidney breath and sinus breath are high indicators and direct correlated to kidney disease. Now, six, one we're all familiar with, allergies. You know, the issues with runny noses, stuffy, <laughs> stuffy noses, watery eyes, itchy throats, and of course, bad breath. Allergies affect mostly all of us. With allergies, it's important to recognize that the, your nose indicates and also gives off other issues known as tonsillitis, tonsil cysts, and sinus infections. By attacking this and noticing that the smells that are coming from that are generally a sweet, cheesy smell that are indicated from your mouth breath. By signaling that, you can make it, draw a direct correlation to your allergies, and you can solve the problem beforehand. So now, there are six key ways that you can solve this solution. The first is an obvious one, brushing your teeth. Parents are key in helping their kids recognize that not only parents, but relatives, friends, and family are key in getting people to brush their teeth to solve their solutions beforehand. Two is flossing. Flossing is the most effective way to get back bacteria and plaque in and between your teeth. Three, an alternative to flossing is water picking. Water picking is also an excellent solution and alternative to flossing in order to solve the solution. Fourth 
is mouthwash. We all know Listerine mouthwash. Listerine mouthwash kills 99.99% of our germs in our mouths and gums. We all know that phrase, but it's so true, and it's the easy solution to eliminating gingivitis and gum disease. Fifth, eating fruits, vegetables, and fibers. You see, bacteria hates food rich in vitamin C. By eating these particular um, these fruits and vegetables, we can eliminate the problem beforehand. You guys all know the solution. Well, I hope you all know the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Well, that, that folklore has a direct correlation to this situation as well. You see, eating, eating raw fruits like broccoli and other hard fruits like carrots rub against your teeth and break down that bad bacteria in and between and around your gums. It's important to recognize that, important to recognize that these are all crucial in solving this solution. Now, caring for our mouths is extremely important. We all, uh, we all obviously speak and we eat and we do things around that area. But it's important to recognize that us as a community need to encourage each other to brush, floss, and use mouthwash three to two, two to three times a day to solve a solution. Nurses at the front line in the medical situation need to encourage their patients and direct them to follow these, follow these solutions beforehand. It's also important to recognize that doctors Dennis and other relatives need to encourage each other to do these things as well. Also, when you're going out in your community, it's important to let people know that they have bad breath and don't push them away, especially your relatives. If you, if you notice a particular smell, let them know. It can honestly be something that's going on wrong with them, that, like I just mentioned, whether a fishy, fruity, cheesy, acidic, or musty smell. They could possibly have cancer, diabetes, asthma, Six or fibrosis, you don't know. It's important to let them know beforehand to avoid these issues and to potentially save their life. That's why we're here, to save the lives of your individuals and the ones you love. Thank you. Wow. Thanks.